with new excitement and curiosity you enter into this life and then we start building up our own characteristics and we start building up how exactly we want our life to be but there are a few unconscious patterns we are following since we were born and one of the pattern by my observation i came to understand is how exactly do we view life as See, according to my observation, we have two different scenarios and to relate with this, I would like to take the example of a puzzle, the pieces puzzle, right? In childhood, we all used to play with puzzles, like the pieces, what we used to do, we just go to the market, take the pieces of puzzle or our parents would gift us and we would start building up that piece of puzzle. Now, there are two kind of different perspectives you can hold regarding that puzzle. The first one is, as soon as that box of puzzle is bought, you see the entire picture. Okay, this is how exactly when the puzzle is formed should look like. And another perspective is that, I don't care how it looks like because I want to make it however it would look like. So these are two different perspectives and I will get into detail with this. What happens in a childhood itself, we start developing these qualities which are curiosity, excitement, carefulness, alertness, awareness, focused, and even our own self-worth. And what's needed and what's not needed and how exactly we want to take the next step. So what happened in the childhood itself, for me, when I used to take the piece of puzzle, I would take any piece of puzzle which would have four endings and I would keep it in the center and after that, I would go ahead and keep searching for the piece which could fit the best end to the next of the center puzzle. And as soon as I get that piece, I will start adding it up and that's how I used to build the entire piece of puzzle and at last I will see, oh wow, this was the thing I was trying to make. This is the first perspective. Now what I'm trying to say is there's a learning in here. Now what is learning? The learning here is you start where you are. You are curious, it involves curio curiosity, like what exactly are you searching for? You get the next piece, you put it, oh sorry, that's not, not the right piece, and you do not feel ashamed or guilty. Now, when you do not feel ashamed and guilty, that was your mistake. You are not taught that your mistake is a bigger one, because you can anytime take it and replace it with a better one. So that's what we used to do in our childhood. We used to take another piece and put it next to the main piece. And if it joined, that's good. If it didn't, it's okay. We can take the another piece and we can join it. So it was a kind of adventure. It was kind of learning from our own mistakes. Okay, this is not the right one. We can go ahead with another one. And this is how, after completing the piece, we feel a sense of satisfaction. Oh, yes, I did it. It's like I did it. I didn't saw the big picture. I had no clue how exactly we are going to form and what is going to come out of this picture. It's just go with the flow and go with the flow with an intention to complete the entire picture. It's just not go with the flow, but with an intention that I want to have this bigger picture whatsoever is going to come up. Now, the same thing applies to the different perspective. As for my sister, she would take up the puzzle box, she would see at the picture and she would take all the pieces with her and she will take the first piece and she will see okay this is a piece which in the picture it sits on the right side or the left side or the between or up or down and she would place it there and accordingly she would select very carefully very focused she will go ahead search for the other piece which is required to be put next exactly next to the center piece or what's a piece she is starting with and that's how carefully very focused she would take that piece and she would put it there she would take another piece she would put it there and that's how exactly she planned saw the bigger picture and she stopped working towards it now see there is nothing bad having this kind both kind of perspective in your life or this kind of patterns in your life because at last it's how you are functioning you should not force yourself to either follow the first one or either follow the second one just think what was your pattern when you were a child? Do you take the any part of the puzzle and you start or do you take a specific part of the puzzle and then you start building up the puzzle seeing the bigger picture? So at one place you see the bigger picture and you start very carefully, very specific, you know it's by one by one, you know how exactly which piece is gonna fit where and you take a little time, you go with patience and you do it perfectly as the picture shows that you have to make it exactly like this. And the other part, you just take 
one of the piece of puzzle just start you just see another piece of puzzle you just search for it you attach you take another one you attach and that's how you build the another piece of board totally so it's there are two different perspectives on this now this is how we can reflect in our own lives how are we in our own lives are we the one who we who already have a bigger picture and we know how to reach it and we know what to do when to do how to do and that's how my sister used to do the way she used to arrange her puzzle was totally planned was totally careful was totally one by one and what's needed because if you are keeping this piece in front of you you need only what come next to it and not those pieces which will come two or three steps later so she would focus very much on the next piece instead of going too high with the focus so she played it very well but with me i played it similar to equally like we both played at our own levels i took the another path and she took the another path and for me it was curiosity more of getting what what i'm getting into it was more about curiosity i don't want you it's more about self satisfaction what am i gonna do how exactly is it gonna come i don't want the meaning i don't want the picture right now i want to frame it i want this picture to come out when i'm done and i think that's how life will turn out some day that when i am done with life the bigger picture will come into view and it would be like it was worth living yeah i do have a picture in my mind because as i said you need to start with an intention so as a child i used to take the first piece and my intention would be i want to complete the puzzle i don't want to miss it in between i just don't want to leave it as soon as i'm going to end it two three steps before i want to end it so when i start with an intention that i want to end it and then you get this bigger picture that's how you should be that's how i am and that's how you can choose any one of these two paths either you can choose what exactly you want to become in your life and you can go ahead with that and or either you can choose yourself to be an adventurous person a cre- curious person and feel that inner satisfaction by doing it yourself without seeing the bigger picture but you know you trust you believe that you are going to make this bigger picture that's the best example i could have give after so much observation on my own thoughts that yes since childhood we have this patterns inside us and it's more about curiosity it's more about how we function as an individual in our life there is nothing wrong to follow any one of the pattern it's okay and it's really amazing to follow any one of the path but do not force yourself to pursue any one of the path and yeah of course there can be a third path too which can be the middle of both little planning little research and then taking it um, accordingly so you can take both the paths or you can take the mid paths and you can blend both together and you can make a bigger path so i think i am shifting from the adventurous curious path to the middle path because that's how i think we can get balance in our lives i hope this was really valuable and it will help you to know your subconscious pattern you hold in your life and it will make your life easier so think about it and do comment in the comment box to let me know what kind of pattern do you follow have a nice day and see you soon with another video of wisdom